Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a hair tutorial for you. Basically, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a fishtail with hair extensions. So it's a tutorial showing you how I put my hair extensions in, and um, where I position them for this kind of style, and then how I do the fishtail. So if you wanna see how I created this beautiful hairstyle, then please keep on watching. So first things first is obviously have your hair down. And for this style, I like to have my hair over in quite a, a far side parting, um, just so it looks a little bit more beachy, and then when you have it coming down to one side, it looks nice and pretty. Um, so yeah, have it over to one side, and then just give it a really good brush through, just to make sure there's absolutely no knots or anything in the hair. And then you can dry shampoo the roots. So I tend to find the style works best with a two or three day old hair. It just, the, the hair's a little bit more dirty, so everything grips a bit better and it stays in place a bit better. So I'm just gonna put a bit of my Batiste dry shampoo, just through the roots, just so it doesn't look dirty. We don't have any greasiness in the hair. Okay, so now on to putting in my hair extensions. So first of all, I like to section my hair round about just below my ears. So I'm just gonna pull the top of the hair up and pin it out the way. And at this section, I like to clip in a three clip hair extension. Um, so obviously focusing the center clip right in the middle of the hair and then one on each side just behind the ear. Now, as you can probably see, I have a double layer of hair extensions. What I do is I like to layer over my hair extensions. So I clip one three piece onto another three piece and then I clip that into my hair. So it basically makes each weft of hair extension a lot thicker so I get a lot more with putting a lot less into my scalp, does that make sense? Okay, the next section I make is about an inch above the ear and again, just pinning that top section of hair out the way. This time I'm using a four clip hair extension and it just means it wraps around my head a little bit further. So again, centering it through the back and then bringing it around so each clip sits just above the ear. And just clipping that in nice and secure. Okay, onto the front sections. So on the side where I have less hair, I just make a section around about my temple and I place a two piece clip in this section. So making sure that it's quite far back so it isn't visible at the front of the hair and again, just clipping it in nice and secure. And then onto the other side, again, around about temple height, I place a one piece clip, again, nice and far back so you can't see it. And then about two inches above that, so kind of just above the start of my eyebrow, um, I create another section and at this point I'm putting a two piece clip. Again, nice and far back so you can't see it through the hair. And because I have quite a far side parting, I do have enough hair on the top of my head to cover this hair extension. And then just brushing it all over to the one side and making sure there is no knots all right, so to do a fishtail, basically you have to split your hair into two equal parts. A chunk from the front, and then I take the chunk from the back. So I just split them in half until when I'm holding them, they will feel pretty equal. And then you just need to make sure that they are very, very neatly split. So just brushing this side together and then brushing this side together. So two equal parts. Okay, so the basic rule of a fishtail braid is you want to take a tiny chunk from the very far side of one part and then you want to pass it to the middle of the second part, vice versa, and then you take a very far side chunk of this side and then you pass it to the middle of that side. So basically you're passing and crossing over and you're repeating this motion until all of the hair has been done. So the first step is to take about a centimetre chunk from the very back of this piece and then we're going to pass it round to this piece. So you can see I've took a centimetre chunk from the back of this and I've passed it round into this hand. Then I'm going to do the same. So from this piece I'm going to take a centimetre chunk right from the very end and then I'm going to pass it over to the middle of this piece and you can see we have our first cross. Okay and then again taking a centimetre piece from the back passing it over into this one, pulling it tight, and then taking a centimetre piece from this side, pulling it over, and pulling tight. Now the trick for the beginning bit is the hardest bit because you want to make sure that you keep this nice and tight. So keep pulling it nice and tight. And then again, a bit from this side, pull it over, 
And then now that we're starting to get it tight, I can drop this one and then I pull that over and then pull it tight. Drop this one, grab the bit and pull it over, pull it tight, drop this one, pull it over and then pull it tight. Drop this one, grab a bit and pull it over, pull it tight. Grab this bit, pull it over, pull it tight. So you get the idea, so you just have to repeat it. So taking from the very far side of one side, pulling over to the middle of the other side and repeating. So really far side of this one, taking it over to the middle of this one and then pulling tight. So I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way down and I'm just gonna fast forward you so you can see me do this nice and quick. Okay, so you can see I'm starting to get to the end. Now, I don't like to take my fish tail all the way down to the end. I like to leave um, a little bit of straight at the bottom. So I'm gonna finish it off here. So you can see I've got that all the way down to the bottom. So I'm gonna tie that off and I'm gonna tie it quite tight. And then I'll show you how to loosen it off and loosen the fish tail. So make sure you keep hold tight. Do not drop your fish tail because you will lose all of that hard work. What I like to do is just pull the hair braid down just about a couple of centimeters and that gives you this little bit of leeway and then you can start to pull out from here. Now fish tails are not meant to look perfect, they're meant to look messy and loose and um, yeah like mermaidy. So if yours doesn't look perfect don't worry, they're not meant to look perfect. And pretty much that's it. So you can pull it out, you can stretch it, you can do whatever you like to it. And then what I like to do is I like to just pull a couple of bits of hair out just to make it look a little bit looser and just not so perfect. And then even you can pull this little bit out here. And then once you're done and once you're happy, you just want to give it a spritz of hairspray. So I'm just using the um, Volume and Lift VO5 hairspray. This is my favorite, favorite hairspray to hold any kind of flyaway. So if you have different lengths of layers and things, you can put it in and it will just help to hold those flyaways in. And then just around the top, just to make sure that none of your hair extensions stick through. Just make sure that your hair is nice and secure. And then I'm just lifting up just to create a little bit of volume. Nice little spritch of hairspray and we're done. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions or any comments or anything, please leave them down below. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.